All right, so today we're going to be looking at the May June, May June 2015 Caribbean History Paper 1 for CSEC exam. All right, so May June 2015 CSEC Caribbean History. All right, so let's just jump into it. Number one, which of the following is which of the following following statement is true of both Jamaica and Cuba at the time of Columbus's arrival in the Caribbean? And the best answer is B, they were inhabited by the Tainos. Number two, which of the following best describe the relig religious practices of the Kalinagos and Tainos? And the answer here is C, nature worship and ancestor worship. Number three, which of the following statements are true of the Kalinagos? And the answer here is D, which is they adopted many Tainos customs, they were skilled sailors and fishermen, and they fiercely resisted the Spanish invaders. All right, so take a while here, look at this, look at the answers before we move on. All right, moving on. Number four, you have this nice map of the, Car of the Caribbean, um, Central America, South America. All right, number four, the area where the Kalinagos lived before they migrated to the Caribbean islands is labeled as, and the best answer here is, of course, uh, number three. All right, number three. So that's C, that, that is C for number four. All right, number five. Which of the following did the mayor use as money? What did the mayors use as money? All right, the best answer here is cocoa beans. Number, that's A, cocoa beans. All right, six, Christopher Columbus sailed west, mainly because he wanted to, and the best answer here is B, find a passage to the east. Okay, everybody looking for the east in this. Okay, number seven, which of the follow, which is the correct order of the fifth century European social groups from most to least powerful? And the best answer here is D, kings, priests, merchants, peasants. Kings, priests, merchants, peasants. Number eight, the next map to deal with. This one is mainly the Caribbean again. On which of the following islands was the first Spanish settled settlement established? And of course, the answer is number three, which is of course Hispaniola back in the day. Okay, so number eight is C. Number nine, in which century were the English most successful in establishing settlements in the Caribbean? And the answer for number nine is D. Okay, D. Number 10, the main aim of the English and French in establishing colonies in the Caribbean was to, and the best answer is C, produce tropical crops for the mother country. Number 11, tobacco ceased to be uh, the staple crop of the of the early English colonists in the Caribbean mainly because and the best answer here is D Caribbean tobacco could not compete on the European market number 12 which of the following groups of items was used by Europeans for the purchase of Africa African of Africans on the slave coast all right and the best answer here is D gunpowder iron pots and beads number 13 the term Barracoons is best associated with, and the answer is B, trade in captive persons on the African coast. Number 14, which of the following means of protest were used by captive Africans during the Middle Passage? Is it one, attacking the crew? Is it two, committing suicide? Or is it three, complaining to the captain? And the best answer for number 14 is A, which is attack the crew and committing suicide. Number 15. Which of the following, which of the following is true of enslaved persons in the British Caribbean? The best answer is they were encouraged by their masters to farm on small provision grounds. All right, number 16, an enslaved African in the British Caribbean who stole from owner was like, from, from the owner was like, was least likely to be. And the answer is charge a fine. I mean, what are you going to pay? They money, so of course it will be charged a fine. Number 16. Number 17. A major cause of the Buster Re Revolt of the 18 of 1816 in Barbados was the belief that emancipation was being delayed. The belief that emancipation was being delayed. Number 18. Which of the following factors contributed to the success of the Maroons in Jamaica and Suriname in their resistance to slavery? Is it large size of the two territories? Uh, nearness of difficult and remote terrain 
are corporation of the free colored people and the best answer for number 18 is a one and two large size of the territories and nearness to difficult and remote terrain in mountainous areas all right number 19 the free colored of of saint dominic revolted in 1790 because the uh the best answer for 19 is of course b were dissatisfied with their status in society. Seen them all. Anyway. Uh, yes, so number 20, which of the following enslaved persons were most likely to use poisoning of owner as a means of resistance? And the best answer here would be domestic or the other ones who would get close to the food. All right, 21. Which of the following was the main purpose of the amelioration, a policy of amelioration? Uh, the Amelioration Act 21. So the best answer is D to improve the conditions of the enslaved British Caribbean. 22. Which of the following groups was the first to amend the policy of amelioration? That's 22. And the best answer for that one is C, the West India Lobby. 23. Which of the following was not a requirement of the apprenticeship system? And the best answer for that one is A, apprentices were to be trained to become skilled laborers all right which is not number 24 the stipendiary magistrates were persons originally sent out of the of britain to ensure that and 24 the best answer there is b there were no abuse of the apprenticeship system 25 which of the following organizations did not support the abol abolition of slavery which one did not support the abolition of slavery? And the best answer is the Colonial Church Union. The Colonial Church Union. 26. Which of the following groups was mainly used by British Caribbean planters as immigration workers in the period after 1833? And the best answer would be, of course, A, Indians. You know, the indentured workers. All right. The Indians came in after. All right. Then we had uh, 20, we have 27. Indian indentured labor was introduced into the British Caribbean in order to, and the best answer here is B, which is to ease the labor problems of the planters, okay, after emancipation. 28. Which cultural elements did indentured workers from Madeira bring to the British Caribbean? Of course, we're talking about the Portuguese, so it's Portuguese right there, D, Portuguese. 29. The most significant contribution of the Portuguese immigrants to the economy of the British Caribbean in the 1800s was it was in the, and the best answer for that one is C, the development of retail trade. 29. 30 now. The, may, the majority of immigrants brought to, brought to work in the British Caribbean in the years between emancipation and the First World War were employed as, and the best answer for that one is A, laborers. 31. Help in the formation of the free villages in Jamaica came mainly from, and the best answer for that one is B, missionaries. 32. There were more free villages in Jamaica than there were in Barbados, mainly because, and the best answer for that one is A, in Jamaica, more land was available for settlement. 33. Which group of territories contained the most crowned lands? And the best answer for that one is D. Guyana, Jamaica, Trinidad, the big guys. Alright, 34. Which of the following is best described as British Caribbean peasant proprietor in the period after emancipation? And the best answer for 34 is, of course, D. Someone who cultivated plots of land on his or her own account. 35. Which of the following which of the following crops was most likely to be sold in a peasant market okay and the best answer is sweet potato because cotton tobacco and those things they cost a lot more to produce and stuff so sweet potato is the best answer 36 the policy by which the united states government was actively involved in directing the financial affairs of the caribbean between 1905 and 1930 was known as and the best answer for that one is dollar diplomacy. Dollar diplomacy. All right, 37.
which of the following was the immediate cause of the United States declaration of war against Spain in 1898? And the best answer for that one is B, the USS Maine was blown up in Havana Harbor. All right, 38, which of the following was the aim of the Manuel Doctrine in 1823? The Manuel Doctrine in 1823. And the answer for that one is C, the United States would oppose European intervention in the New World. All right, 39. Which of the following Caribbean territories was not occupied by the United States military force in the early 1900s? Not by the, the early 1900s. And the best answer for 39 is C, Jamaica. All right, 40. The main reasons for the United States interest in Panama in the first decade of the 20th century was to and the best answer for that one is D improve communication between the Atlantic and the Pacific because that's how the Panama Canal came into place all right all right to 41 in the efforts to improve working conditions around 1900 workers in the British Caribbean most often resorted to and the answer for this one is a strikes okay a strikes now 42 which of the which commission was sent to investigate the conditions in the caribbean as a result of the 1930s disturbances and the best answer for that one is the moyen commission the moyen commission 43 which of, the, which of the following statements are true of education for most caribbean blacks in the early 20th century uh, opportunities for education were limited because they were poor of course yes very few blacks were allowed admission to best schools. That's true as well. And the education followed the pattern of the British system. So the best answer is D. All right, 44. Which of the following statements is true of trade unions in the British Caribbean? British Caribbean trade unions, which is true. And the best answer is C. After the 1930s, trade unions in the British Caribbean became stronger and more numerous. All right, the labor movement of the 1930s. All right, 45. Which of the following trade union leaders is not correctly matched with the territory he worked for? And the best answer for that one is C. All right, is Nathaniel Critchlow Belize. All right, that's totally wrong. All right, so the best answer is C. All right, the next one, we are up to 46 now. 46. In what order did the following countries gain? Political independence. Who got independence first? Is it Guyana? I mean, is it the best answer is B, okay? Which is Jamaica first, then Guyana, then Grenada. Alright, so Jamaica, then Guyana, then Grenada. So it's B. 47. By the referendum of 1961, Jamaica decided to 47. B. The best answer is B change its federal representative all right 48 in which order order did the following stages in the movement towards independence in the british caribbean territories take place was it one the introduction of the party system election of the prime minister or premier achievement of universal adult suffrage full internal self-government and the order would be one first introduction of the party system followed by three, achievement of universal adult suffrage, and then two, election of a prime minister or premier, and then four, full internal self-government. All right. 49. One feature of the 1958 federation was that the government of each individual territory would, and the best answer for that one is C, share power with the federal government. C, share power with the federal government. All right, 50. We have 10 more to go. 50. The British West Indies Federation of 1958 was established because, and the best answer here is D, West Indian leaders felt that independence would be achieved faster through federation. 51. Colonialism may be described as, and the best answer here is B, settlement and exploitation of one country by another settlement and exploitation of one country by another 52 refers to the following quotation 
tell me by what right and justice do you keep these Indians in such cruel and humble servitude? Which of the following was passed to ensure that the Indians were not kept in cruel and humble servitude? That's 52. And the best answer is C, the laws of Burgos. Okay, the laws of Burgos. All right, 53. Which of the following statements correctly compare indentured laborers and enslaved persons? And the best answer is C. Enslaved persons could not give evidence against their owners. Indentured laborers could. 54. Which of the following countries have never been colonized by Spain? And of course, the best answer here is St. Kitts and Antigua. All right. It was French and English for St. Kitts. St. Kitts was French and English. So the best answer here is St. Kitts and Antigua. 55. In which, of the, in which order were the following groups introduced as a main source of labor in the British Caribbean? In which order? Okay. Is it you have one Africans, two Indians, and three Chinese? So the best answer here is one, the Africans, then two, the Indians, then three, the Chinese. So 55 is A. 56. Four more to go. What is the correct order of the abol abolition process the correct order of the abolition process and the best answer here is d abolition of the slave trade amelioration emancipation and then apprenticeship all right that's the order 57 57 which of the following statements is true of cuba in the 1800s and the best answer here is it had become a major sugar producing territory 58 which of the following statements describe universal adult suffrage? The answer here is A, the right of all citizens of a specified age to vote, your voting rights, adult suffrage. 59, in which chronological, or in which chronological, chronological order did the following industries develop in the Caribbean? Which chronological order did the following industries develop in the Caribbean? You have petroleum, tobacco, sugar, and banana. So, the first one would be tobacco, then competition caused them to go to sugar, and then you had banana, and then you had petroleum after they discovered all of that. Alright, so the best answer here is C, which is, which is first you have tobacco, then sugar, then banana, then petroleum. The last one, number 60. In which chronological order did the following disturbances take place? All right, is it so you have to choose from the Marbury Rebellion, the Haitian Revolution, the Demerara Re uh, Revolt, and the Christmas Rebellion? And the best order here is A, which is first you had the Haitian Revolution, then you had the Demerara Revolt, then you had the Christmas Rebellion, and then you had the Mount Bay Rebellion. All right, folks, so there you have it. That's the 2015 Caribbean History Paper 1. All right, 2015 Caribbean History Paper 1. All right, so you scroll through, you pause when you have to, and you drop down the answers after you would have read the questions. All right, so that's it for now. I will try and put up the 2013 History 1 just, just in short order. All right, thanks for listening.